able to uh, prevent the seizures occurring after a brain trauma, uh, but we are not uh, we are not able to prevent the epilepsy from developing the epileptogenesis. So, um, which is what we obviously would like to achieve because uh, um, brain injury is a very important cause of uh, symptomatic epilepsy in uh, in young people and older people as well. Um, so we would really like to find a treatment that could stop this this process from happening. And there is a lot of research going on, um, um, but mainly on uh, animal models. And uh, and so far, it's none of these treatments has been able to be transferred for for humans. But there are some optimism. Uh, and in in my lecture, I I talk about. Some of the um, the options that are, are under development um, so far. Um, maybe one of the the largest question is whether we could use whether uh, uh, levetiracetam uh, would be able to be will, will have beneficial effects. Um, currently, uh, levetiracetam as well as phenytoin is used uh, to prevent uh, these symptomatic seizures uh, occurring quite frequently in, 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 in uh, patients with uh, severe brain trauma. So they are used prophylactically, but uh, uh, the question is whether levetiracetam also could be used to prevent further development of epilepsy. But so far, there are very little clinical evidence of that.